Hello there adventurers, welcome back for some more Hearthstone solo adventure and it's time for the concluding part of the League of Explorers. That's right, let's jump straight back in because we've got to fight Rafarm Unleashed. Last time he nicked our deck but we murked him anyway because we're just that damn good. So without further ado, let's take this guy on. He's immune while the Staff of Origination is charging. Let's use this Hunter deck again. We wanted to use it last time. He turned it on our head. Let's show him that it's not a garbage deck. And in fact, it's him. It's a garbage player. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Alright, son. That was a reading. Right there. The full power of the Staff, eh? Oh, we can peek at him with this telescope. I probably shouldn't hold on to the eagle horn bow, but you never know. Reform, have you seen this telescope? It's rad. How long will it take? Done, we'll have a window to fight back. Three turns to go. Have to handle the creature it summons. Okay, that's kind of fun. That's a nice idea. So we just gotta, we gotta get ready to fight. Happy feast of winter vale. Yes! Ooh. We're searching the museum for useful things. Look at that go. Call if you need one. That's fantastic. Wait, hang on. Find an option. Sure. I found this in the molten core. Major Domo used it to pick his tea. That's kind of nice. Um, it's not particularly helpful right now, but cheers, uh, cheers, Bran. I'll hang on to it. Remember, it's all characters. Now, I think characters are, characters are just uh, the players, right? It doesn't include uh, minions, I don't think. I'm not certain. Staff's almost charged up. Can we deal with this chap? I mean, we could use the eagle horn bow. Let's rummage for another artifact. Why not? Drink me, but we found it in Nax Ramus, so no one's wanted to try. Hey, that's kind of nice. We, we should probably hang on to it because it says there's going to be a big summoned minion, so maybe we should... Watch out for that. Remember, we uh, we can use this at some point if we're injured. Before we worry about Rafarm. It's free to use, so. Here we go. Sun Raider Ferex. He's back. At the end of turn, add a blessing of the sun to your hand. Well, he's going to get that anyway. Interesting, the ancient curse. Righto, I wonder how long it summoned a boss but lost immunity. I wonder if it goes away as soon as you kill the boss. Well, we're going to take this chap out regardless. Because uh, I don't want to fight him. So, uh, let's summon ourselves a companion. Let's look for an artifact. Replace your hand with unstable. That's kind of fun. Um, you know, my hand's pretty good. I, like I said, I, I, I made it for a reason. I didn't... Uh, a random enemy minion. Okay, well, we do want to do this, or do we want to destroy a specific enemy minion? Uh, I, they're both pretty dangerous. I guess we could, we could probably get away with destroying a random one. Boom! And I won't use this because the freezing trap is going to pop this guy back to hand. The staff is charging again. We'll have another opportunity so you only have that one turn to attack when uh, when the staff is overloaded. So it's like once every three turns, probably. Crikey, that's uh, you've got to be quick on it, for sure. Uh, we've got options here. We could we could use the Ram Wrangler. We could uh, we could do that because we can trade these in quite nicely if we want to. Ooh, that's kind of fun. When you summon a beast, draw a card. But don't tell Bran. He loves this pipe. A random spell into each player's hands. Yours costs zero. Uh, sure. Whirlwind. Not great, to be honest. And especially, like, as it's only a one-cost reduction. But I'll take it. Do we want to heal up? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the heal now, I guess, because... Eh, no, nah, that's maybe... Um, that's maybe over the top. Do I want to replace my hand with unstable portals? Like, these cards are pretty good. I don't know that... 
I don't know that I would necessarily want to get rid of them. I'll get rid of some of these rubbish cards with unstable portals, perhaps. Is nearly ready. Set up. Once I've got more of my actual cards. So, right, we need to get ready to attack in here. Didn't do too much, just did a mortal strike on the starving buzzard, which, to be honest, isn't really the end of the world. I hate snakes. Transform a minion into a 2-1 pit snake. We could do that on him, but I don't know that's probably more useful on the enemy, although remember that the pit snake has the death touch effect. So it will always kill whatever trades into it. But it would let us trade the web spinner into it, perhaps, as an option. I say let's uh let's just beef up, let's get ready to do the dirty on Rafarm. What are you gonna summon, big boy? Oh, there he is! Lord Slither Spear! Summon 1-1 one, one Hungry Naga for each enemy minion. Crikey! Oh, we've got the Whirlwind, so, uh, you know, we could, uh, we could definitely make use of that if we wanted to. We could UTH. That might be the way to go. The problem is, if uh, we UTH now, that's five minions, well, we... We could get rid of these two web spinners and then do it, but obviously then it would be... There would be fewer things. We could do it into here, trade into this guy. Maybe that's the ploy. So we trade these two chaps in. Then we can unleash the hounds. Then we can uh, trade you in. Man, if we had one more mana, we could play the Mookless Champion. That would be real potent. But as we don't, let's play the Houndmaster. Big this guy up. Do we want to go all in, or do we want to kill some of these 1-1 one, one Naga? I mean, the 1-1 one, one Naga aren't too spooky, to be honest. And we'll even go face with our big minion and we'll rummage because we probably should do three damage to all enemies I mean we could have used that before we traded in well I think I think the trading was still worthwhile to be honest because it let us otherwise we wouldn't have been able to play a hound master out and I think it's good to get that out let's uh, let's clean up the board and also we'll hit reform while uh, while he's vulnerable fantastic be careful oh man came slightly too late I suppose this is always going to come up at a time when... Because he's only... Oh no, he is vulnerable on that turn, but I think the staff triggers after the draw, so... Play this Sun Raider Phaerix back out. Remember, it costs 7 because of the uh, the freezing trap that we got rid of it with. We could play another freezing trap here, and I think we might as well. Uh, and then we can trade in. That's kind of nifty. Um, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this might be the time to replace our hand with the old unstable portals. Because we got one tiger and that's fine. It's not the most exciting. See ya! Just one more turn after this. <laughs> That is not a good use of give a minion immune this turn. You're not going to be able to attack with it, you... Oh. This deck's wasted on you, Rafam. You really are a terrible player. Oh, I'm set up. I couldn't be more set up. Look at this. I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's kind of fun. 10 damage randomly among all characters. Look at this ridiculous outlier we've got here. Uh, let's just run, run a portal out and see what we get. A Twilight Drake. That's kind of fun. Well, bam. Oh, yes. What do you got, Rafam? What do you got against this board of majesty? Oh, you got a nice Sun Raider fight? Oh, and some wobbling runts. Oh, they'll save you. You're done. You hear me? You're done. You've got nothing. It's all over, Rafam. Your rule is at an end. 
Your reign is over. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this was still in my pocket. I guess you can borrow it. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Discover a minion and gain three copies of it. Right, son. Right. Okay. You've had your fun. Had a good time. It's been fun. We've uh, we've explored the world. But now it's time for you to get out of here. Ba bam! Ba bam! Ba bam! Son, you can and were defeated. It can be and were, I suppose I should say. Boom! Eerie statue. Can't attack unless it's the only minion in the battlefield. I, I, at first I thought this was good and then I realised it included the opponent's side of the board. Which makes it a little weaker. I don't think it's okay, but it, like... It can't hit the opponent's stuff. So you need removal to get rid of the opponent's stuff and then you can attack. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't love it. And the Desert Camel, which seems like a pretty good card, actually. Uh, it's going to be one of those ones that does some weird stuff to the meta. And we get at least Star Seeker. Shuffle the map to the Golden Monkey into your deck, which, of course, then you play the map, and that puts the Golden Monkey in your deck. And if you draw that, the Golden Monkey replaces all minions you have with uh, legendary ones, which is a fun idea. And we get Arch Thief for a farm. Discover the powerful artifacts, which are those you get to pick from the three... Uh, ten cost artifacts, and they all have a potent effect. There's one that like fills your board with three threes. Uh, one which gives a minion like plus ten, plus ten or something. And then I think the other one is some kind of, uh, you know, random damage to everything on the enemy board. Uh, that kind of style. And we get two class challenges. Well, let's jump straight into those. There we go. The staff of origination. It's back in its rightful place. Ding, 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 ding. Another glorious adventure completed. Well done, explorers. We made it. Bum -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Okay, onto the class challenges. The rogue. Gotta fight Skelosaurus Hex again. This guy gave us more trouble than anyone else on the whole thing. But only because he got Tyrion on turn one for free. Tomb Pillager. I think this is an interesting card, you know, kind of a three mana, five four, if you will, uh, but only you only get paid off once it dies. And a four mana five four is okay, like it's not as good as uh, a yeti, the four mana four five. Although these days, in some cases, the attack can be more potent. We've kind of reached this weird meta where attack can sometimes uh, be better at the higher levels just because they can trade up easily. I think it's an interesting card anyway. We'll keep it in our hand because we've got a two drop and a effectively a three drop. And we'll get some free cards as well, so that should be nice and fun for us. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Oh, Kidnapper. What a top card you've put in this deck. You know, I like Kidnapper. It's just it's why is it a 5-3? This card should have been buffed. Like the the bounce effect is quite powerful, but it's not that powerful that you this thing should be a 5-3. I think this thing could be a 5-5. Five, five, and that would still be okay with the combo. Like, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. Power of the Wild is nice. We might keep that for later. That's quite potent, though. The Gurubashi Berserker. It's a little bit scary. I almost don't want to play the huge toad into it. Because, um... Because it can... Uh... Do the extra one damage to this chap. Lighter than Naru? Sure. Not a great card to get. We know we're, these are both. This is a two cost card and a, a one cost card. We're looking for something big. Okay, that's just a one cost as well. But this chap's five. That's a much nicer thing to get for free. Uh, I guess we could use the Light of the Naru. Uh, or we could summon a Panther and then combo. Maybe that's the way to go. Do you want to use the dagger here? Oh, I was going to use the dagger and the SRE 7 agent, but you can't you can't do those both. You can't afford to do those both. So I've kind of done myself a disservice there. What's your trap? Bear trap. Okay. 
That's fine. I completely misplayed that entire turn. I should have just played the SI7 agent, done two damage, and been content with it. But I was like, oh, I could then I could use the dagger to do one more damage. And uh, yeah, kind of uh, kind of messed it up there. But it's okay because we've got a free arcane golem, which is actually kind of useful uh, in this particular case because we can uh, we can bop in here. We can give them a mana crystal, get rid of this berserker. We could uh, we've got options here. This guy, remember this guy will kill anything that we play, but we've got the dagger, so we can dagger this chap. Can deal two damage here. And we could heal ourselves up, but we can do this. It's free, so we can do it next turn if we want. Uh, and I don't want to play the Light Warden and not, like, buff it up already. Oh, the Bane of Doom. That's kind of nice to have, actually. Mmm, okay, that changes things slightly. <laughs> Old Major Domo. Old, if you've got eight damage on the board, I guess you just win. Right, we'll, we'll take hey, nice this chap out, see if it's a snake trap. It's a, it is a snake trap, okay, fantastic. That's absolutely fine. I guess we could uh, we could return Millhouse Mana Storm to hand with a kidnapper. Certainly a possibility. Let's uh, Spain of Doom, let's see what we get. Not the most exciting thing around whenever you discard a card game plus one plus one. But uh, there we are. We'll, uh, we'll bop our health back up a little bit. Try and keep ourselves in this fight. It's going to be tough to be honest. I think we might be I think we might be flat out of luck. We haven't got any minions with a, a death rattle effect so that's not that much use. Oh, well, uh, you know. Sadly, I think we've been trumped here. By some, again, some pretty ridiculous early cards from the uh, the Skelosaurus. But not to worry. Well, uh, we'll take him on again. Let's jump straight back in there. Okay, so an interesting deck. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like it necessarily shows. I guess what they're doing is, hey, here's loads of combo cards, and so now you can see how. Getting a coin off this guy lets you do more combos. And in fairness, being able to combo out a combo card with the coin, like a turn in advance, and get the combo benefit, is quite potent. So I guess I can see that being the play. You know, if you get kidnapped out on turn 5 with the combo, or a more probably a better example would be that uh, Shadow uh, Pan Mercenary, whatever his name is, the guy who's a 3 7 that becomes a 6 7. For five mana. Let me change Arcane Blast. Two damage to a minion. We don't have any spell damage, sadly. So uh, let's bop out a Nerubian Egg. Thank goodness we did that before Cabal Shadow Priest arrived. Or after, rather, Cabal Shadow Priest arrived. Upgraded Repair Bot. That's kind of nice. Do we have any mechs around? No. Well, hopefully we'll come across one in our travels. Oh, we got the Avis. We could uh, we could take this guy out with the Eviscerate if we want. I'm tempted to play this guy anyway because he has a five-five. It is free. Hunter secret. Not too scary. Could be snipe. Let's find out. It's not, but we'll be careful not to attack with this chap first if we can avoid it, because it might. Uh... Well, in fact, now I'd be tempted to attack with him first. Just to get rid of him. Or just to keep him safe, rather. Arcane Golem's going to give us a Mana Crystal, which is kind of nice. We've got a Mage Secret here. Okay, interesting. It's an interesting one, for sure. Could have had the double bonus from Spell Damage if we'd uh, kept our chap around. But uh, not this time, sadly. Uh, this could be Vaporize, it's possible. Uh, let's find out if we can pop one of these. Ice Barrier, that's fine. I'd rather have had the, the weaker one vaporized anyway, I think. The Bear Trap, that's great. We'll, uh, we'll bop you out of here. We'll get this, this, this Sentinel out. Because this guy can 
buff someone up if he's killed first. Swamp Ooze is okay. Who knows, we might see a weapon because random cards are getting ended. This is random any card, so it's not necessarily minions. Could quite easily see a weapon come out. I mean, we saw Tyrion last time, so it's very possible the weapon could happen. We play the Geomancer and then the Kidnapper, maybe. Bounce, uh, bounce this arcane golem out of the way. Also, Edwin Van Cleef, maybe we should hang on to, and then we can buff him up with a load of free cards. Oh, hello! Speaking of free cards, free Alex Straza. How are we doing on damage here? I'm thinking we, we make the big plays here. Trade you in. We'll trade you in. We'll swing you. There's Swampoos. We play old Alex Straza. I'll make a knife. Because why not? Edwin! You big boy. Get out there. That's a terrifying board to put out all at once. Fantastic. Big answer, Skelosaurus. He's got a vanish. Pulled a vanish out of his ass. What's that you say? Some bananas? Oh, I don't mind if I do. No, and I'm, I'm tempted to, well, I say I'm tempted to, there's really very little reason for me not to kill that chap. Let's see what we got here. Another snake trap. Okay. Intriguing. I'm going to backstab your snake. Not actually a euphemism this time. Bam! Oh, jam! We did it! Fantastic stuff. Okay, and we get our Tomb Pillager. So, on to the, uh, the final challenge of uh, the League of Explorers. The Steel Sentinel, that's the, the fellow that only takes one damage per hit, regardless of what you hit him with. Your hero can only take one damage at a time. Okay, so this is uh, like the hero in card form, that's kind of fun. I do remember seeing this. Uh, it's, it's a lot less good as a hero. Uh, I feel like as a, as a hero power, it would actually be quite strong. It would be incredibly strong. Um, like, or even if it was two mana, your hero can only, uh, your hero can only take one damage at a time until the next Damn. turn, until your next turn, that would be quite potent. So, having it for free would be great, but having it as a minion means that you just, you generally want to kill the minions before you go face, so all it's stopping is, like, it, it slows down face hunter a touch. But not a great touch, so this is going to be lots of small minions, I'd imagine. So we'll hang on to our start. Seems like a pretty solid outset. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Happy Feast of Wintervale, Mr. Steel Sentinel. I Hope you're having a good time. Ready. Clockwork Gnome's ready with his clockwork moustache and his big eyebrows. What's that? My mechs cost one less? Well, that's very tempting. But I guess we should get, like, the snow chugger out first. This guy does use weapons, so it'd be good to freeze him up. Ooh, having to play the Roar Argent Protector, that's a little bit terrifying. Oh, hey, Ronin. That goes pretty well, because arcane missiles deal one damage at a time. We get the Whirling Blades, which is okay. But I think what we definitely want to do here is bust out the Annoyatron. And we'll spread him out like that. Doesn't really matter too much. I don't think there's any... Uh, uh, like small AOEs in this guy's deck, but you never know. Uh, do we want to use the hero power here? Kind of tempting to. And then we can uh, whack in. Ah! 
And I guess we'll, we'll give you one attack. Why not? It's uh, normally you'd hang on to that, but uh, I have no explicit reason to hang on to it. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's draw cards because we don't have anything else to play anyway. So, let's see what we get our hands on a mad bomber. That's kind of fun for this deck. I mean, we have another taunt minion now, so we don't need to keep this one. We'll keep this guy frozen. Is this the fishing tournament? Goblin Blast Mage is a good card, another one. Seems to be a lot of things that deal lots of damage, like randomly, like dong 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 dong, in small parts. Which makes sense, I suppose. That makes uh, makes good sense to have as your as your option. This is good because it obviously is going to make a load of small dudes. You could discover a spell. Does doesn't quite fit our mana very well. Uh, I'm tempted to uh, to play this chap. And uh, we don't really need to deal with the Jouster right now. I don't think the Steel Sentinel is going to bounce it back to hand. Be better just to keep the Taunt up. We can trade in this turn if we want. Oh, let's uh, put an end to that play, sadly. So I'm thinking, this is a mech, right? So we want to hang on to it uh, before we play the Blast Mage. So maybe we, we trade in first here. We bop that. We play the Blast Mage. Fantastic stuff. If it had all gone face, that would have been fine. I could have traded the guy in. But I didn't want to trade him in first because then the Blast Mage obviously wouldn't have triggered. We could play Ronin this turn. We've already got a good board presence. Don't need to big it up too much right now. I think Ronin's in a in a good spot for us. Oh yes, the Might of Dalaran well. is here to party. And so the, the thing is, with this guy having a 5 damage thing, I think it might be better to do that, because it still only deals 1 damage to face. And it means that these guys are a little bit stronger than they would ordinarily be, because there's every chance he hits this chap anyway. Oh, he's going to bash it. Okay, he went for the one with one health. Well, good to know you've uh, got your priorities sorted out there, Mr. Steel Sentinel. Snow Chugger doing wonders for us, stopping him gain. Because seven health is a lot. That's another seven hits you have to do. Ooh, the, the Tinker Town Tech can uh, get his tinkering on. Let's, uh, I guess let's have him do that. Should we, should we play the Ethereal Conjurer first and see what's going on there? Or should we play the, the Wobbling Runts again? Uh, the concern there is that the board's already so full. So maybe we don't want to do that. Something needs tinkering? What do we get? The armor plating? That's okay. Not phenomenal, but it's okay. So let's trade in our 5 3. We don't need to rush to kill Ronin. Yeah, he'll have plenty of use going forward. You want it? Arcane Explosion, Flame Lance, Spellbender. What's the opponent been playing mostly? They've been playing single target stuff. I think maybe the Flame Lance will, will give us some good creature control. Seems to be lots of single target things rather than uh, having a bunch of... Like the Explosion would have been good if they were playing a lot of small minions, but doesn't seem to be doing that. Bam! Now Arcane Missile is actually quite tempting here as, as a 3 to face. And in fact the Mage is generally good here because you can always you can always ping the face when in doubt. And we'll play the Annoyatron just to hold things up. Fantastic, didn't hit anything particularly potent. Did get charged though. The Flame Waker again, another great card. Mage loves to deal like single target ping, 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 which I think is very major. You know, it's very basically everything is based around um, the arcane missiles idea of just lots of very fast flinging small damage bits and bobs all going out there. 
all getting stuff done. Well, bam, well, bam. I was hope I was kind of hoping we'd get it done in uh, in one hit, and we didn't quite. But uh, Ronin, gonna take it to the Steel Sentinel, and we're done. Fantastic. Good job, Ronin. Good job, Jaina. Good job, us. And there's our animated armor. Fantastic. And I think that's all the class challenges done now. So all that's left is the heroic, which, uh, as normal, I'm probably not going to go through these on here. Because they take a little while to get through. But we'll have a quick peek at them, just out of interest. We've got, uh, same thing here. Oh, it's a random card just to, just to the Skelosaurus. So we don't get any of the random cards. But he's going to get to play ridiculous stuff. So you're basically going to have to keep playing unless until the stuff that comes out of here is not great. So you might want to go in with quite an aggressive deck and try and rush down before any big cards start swinging out of there. This chap, your hero and minions can only take one damage at a time. Crikey O'Reilly. Well, I think the mage is going to probably end up being the way to go there, but that's that's pretty terrifying as a fight. Arch Thief for a farm. It costs naught and the minion costs three less. So he's basically a free unstable portal. That's that's fine, but it's quite strong. And that's maybe what I would have expected a normal hero power to be. But I'm, also, remember, this guy has your deck. So I want to presume he'll still have your deck in this fight. And then Rafarm Unleashed. Huh. It doesn't say while the staff is charging. It just says your hero is immune. <laughs> okay. How do you beat a hero that's always immune? Because there's no way to win in this game outside of reducing your opponent's health to zero. Because even fatigue works by reducing your opponent's health to zero. There must be some twist to it. I, I'm going to just jump into this for a second because I want to see. I just want to see if there's some kind of obvious twist that they say, "Hey, here's the trick," right? What's the trick here? I look at they've got the heroic decks as well. It's fantastic. Well, I'll get we'll get rid of this for now. Can you? Is there a way to replace your opponent's hero power? Reform's invulnerable while the staff charges. No, he's in. When it's done, we'll have a window to fight back, but we'll have to handle the creature it summons. Okay. Well, let's get to that. Let's just play through. <laughs> if you if you only came to see the matches I was actually playing, you can you can head off now. And uh, thank you for watching, of course. But uh, I'm just going to have a quick peek, see what this actually does when it... So now our hero power costs two mana, which is kind of a shame. We can replace our hand with unstable portals. That's always a... We had fun with that last time, but we didn't really use it that much. Fierce monkey, nothing too weird. Well, the staff's about to come out, so... It's a... Uh, Summon a random beast companion. Yeah, take that. Alright, okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so he's not immune while the staff's... He does summon a... Terrifying 10-10. But Freezing Trap would work great against Zinara if you had it. So you can hit this guy. Okay, so that that, that is... That is actually fine and not a huge deal. Um, see, what I'd love to do here is have a coin, play kill command on this, and then freezing trap this chap. The staff is charging again. We'll have another opportunity. Hope he attacks with Zinar first. There we go. That's it. Not playing that card again, mate. I mean, he'll be able to draw another one soon enough. But, uh... Free wish for valor. Okay, interesting. Oh, because uh, Zinar gives you wishes. Of course, that makes sense. Nothing too unruly about that. Well, bam!
So there we go. That's a uh, that's heroic reform. So uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to pop that like button, subscribe to the channel for plenty more uh, Hearthstone gameplays and all that other stuff as well. Of course, I've been Ken. Hope you have a fantastic day, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon, adventurers. It's been fun. I've really, I've really enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed this whole uh, thing. I could maybe have beaten that. I don't know. Maybe that was my best chance to beat it, and I've just thrown it away. But whatever. The League of Explorers. That's the Hearthstone adventure. It was a good one. It was a shorter one, but you know, I enjoyed it. Uh, and you get a lot of cards out of it compared to the old adventure. So I think that's that's all right. Um, and yeah, that's all for now. Cheers for watching. See you next time, adventurers.